Welcome, this is the Delta Math tutorial. This is going to be covering greatest common factor. Here it says to factor these, this expression out completely. We have the expression 8x minus 3x squared. So to do this, we have to first find the greatest common factor. And to do that, we have to expand it out. The first thing we're going to expand out is 8x. 8x can be broke down into 2 times 2 times 2 times x. The term 3x squared can be broken down into 3 times x times x. Now we want to circle what they have in common. So they have an x in common and that's it. So we would say the GCF here is just x. So we start writing the GCF then we put the parentheses. What's in the parentheses is what's left. So let's see what is left. What is left over from the 8x? A 2 times 2 times 2. So that is a 8 is left here. So we write an 8 here. What is left over from the 3x squared? 3 times x. So we would say 3x It was also left. Okay. Be careful. This is a minus. So you minus 3x. So that is what we're going to put as our answer. X parentheses 8 minus 3x. We close the parentheses and we submit our answer. Good. There you go. Our greatest common factor was x. That is correct. Right? Okay. Good. Next, let's do the next new problem. We have this problem same process we are asked to factor out 36 plus 45 x so we have to find the greatest common factor so 36 can be broken down into the number 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 which which is what times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16 times 2 is 36. No, we want to make 36. So, hmm, you know what? I'm going to clean this up. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say this is really 9 times 4. Okay? But the number 4 can be broken down into 2 times 2. The number 9, I can erase, and I could break down that down into 3 times 3. Okay, do you see how I pick out the numbers? Okay, what about the number 45? Well, that can be broken down into 9 times 5. Oh, there's also an x here, times x. But we know 9 can be broken down into just into the numbers of 3 times 3. Right? So let's see what is left. Well, we have one pair of 3s and another pair of 3s. So 3 times 3 is 9. So we have 9 as the GCF, parentheses, what is left? Let's see what is left over. The 36, once we pull out a 9, what is left is just 2 times 2, which is just 4 is left. Is left. So we write a 4 here. Then what's on the bottom? The 4, 45x, what is left there? Once we pull out a fact, a 9, a 5x is left, right? So we put plus 5x here. So that is our answer. 9 parentheses, 4 plus 5x, close the parentheses. Let's see. Yep, we did that correctly. The greatest common factor here was a 9. All right, let's do one last problem. Here we have 7 we have 7x plus x squared. Let's find the greatest common factor first. 7x can be broken down into 7 just times x. x squared can be broken down into x times x. The greatest common factor would just be one pair of x's. So we can just say it's just x. So it's x. Now we put a parentheses and see what is left over. We see a 7, which is left here, is is left so 7 here and an x is also left down here is also left and we add x right so that's your answer 
x parentheses 7 plus x close the parentheses and there you go so that should cover um, everything that you need to know how to do when it comes to finding the greatest common factor level one